Hello and welcome to another edition of Football Town Show. This is the round seven edition. Uh, I'm here with the Golden Voice. How are you, Golden Voice? Very good, uh, Chiefy. Well done, mate. And uh, oh, of course, the Wizard in uh, fine form. How are you, Wizard? Chiefy, good. Some big results this week. Uh, some fantastic results. Uh, we're going to run through them uh, today. Uh, I'd like to say thank you to everyone that came down this week and uh, watched the Legia V League and thanks to our lovely sponsors, Legia, who uh, have fitted us all out with some Tremendous. beautiful jackets and some nice uniforms and uh, more apparel in the back and uh, well done and thank you. Um, uh, without any wasting any time, uh, Golden Voice. Um, not any further ado. No, not any further ado, wasting <laughs> any time. Uh, how did you see round seven, mate? Uh, we had Pasco Vale first up against Melbourne University FC. Well, how did you see that game, mate? Chiefy for a side that's got zero points, they uh, battled uh, Melbourne Union, they did quite well, 5-3 uh, in the end, but uh, Pascoville of course a low scoring side, but uh, came home with the points. I think a good addition for Pascal was Evan Papadopoulos, I yes, think he played well. Yes, he well done, yeah. Evan. Good uh, well first done. up good game. Debut. Yeah, good player, nifty player, out of the different dimensions. Uni, uh, uni as usual start off uh, okay, but then they always falter at the end. Yes, uh, they just don't have enough goal scorers. I think they, their defence leaks a bit too much and uh, Manny Karras coming up with two. The goal scorers of that game was Manny Karras two, Evan Papadopoulos one, Leo Papajuju one, Johnny Verricarcus one and a yellow card to Evan uh, Papadopoulos for his debut game. Uh, I think it was a good game. He's just got to get used to the pace. I think he's going to be a great addition to that basketball side. Certainly will be. Yes, and uh, the goal scorers for Melbourne University FC was Jamie Trung one, uh, 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 you did Darwin with did one Darwin. goal, yes, and an absolute cracker, Jack. The Dukester, well, Duke Duva. That Duke was Duva, the Dukester. That was a tremendous goal. How did you see it, uh, Wizard? Uh, no, it was uh, it was it was a good game. Um, I didn't expect uh, Melbourne United to to win, but uh, yeah, I did lost. <laughs> It's all right, it might be uh, just a bit early for you in the morning, mate. We do get up and record this at four in the morning, mate. So uh, he's a bit tired, uh, the wizard. Uh, as a good wizard would do, he'd probably click his fingers and disappear. But um, yeah, I'm sure that... I'm just, uh, I'm just wondering, there's someone missing here. Yes, uh, the stat man. Yes! Man, I'm taking over well. Well, the stat man had a bit of a knee injury and uh, I think that uh, he couldn't make it well, in tonight. They couldn't probably speak. because he's been working 80 hours a week. Yes. he's stressed out. Yes, he's got a lot of work in. He's quite tired. Well, he's just working too hard. Yes. Mm. Uh, yes, well, he's doing a good job, <laughs> but uh, uh, the panel is getting smaller. Went to four, got to three. Could go down to one, who knows? <laughs> but we've got three on now, so we're just going to kick back and enjoy it. Uh, Golden Voice, a uh, bit of a wrap up of this game before we move to the next game. Well, what can you say? What, what advice can you give to Pasco Val? Uh, it's currently sitting sixth on the uh, Legia V League Premiership ladder. Pasco Val will continue to play as they are. Chivy grinding out results uh, with low scores, but uh, good solid defending with a bulldog in the back and uh, the bottle of wine, Georgie Batukas. As for Melbourne Uni, only the high old mighty can help them now. They're well, in all sorts. 5 3 was the score. Yes, it wasn't it was. a blowout. No, it wasn't. But uh, 56 goals. A lot against. of hard work to do. Yes. 56 Melbourne goals Uni. against Uni, so they're copying a bag load. Moving right along. Oh, Next game. Throw it out. McLeod FC versus FC Essendon. The new. New McLeod. Well, not the McLeod, well, but we had a. Really revised. Well, we've uh, had a change of personnel in the McLeod outfit. Uh, uh, Goran uh, Kapatanovic with one goal. Emir Meti with two goals. The score was 8 3. Essendon uh, victors quite comfortably. Well, the Stavanovic twins, the Tall Timbers, and Alexander the Great, uh, and the rest of the lads of Essendon FC certainly welcomed officially McLeod to the V League. Three goals to Alexander Stavanovic. Lubomir won, Vladko Bosniak won, Ivan Stevanovic won, and Igor Stevanovic another one, and an own goal to round it off to 8 3. And uh, quite a. Quite a. An easy, convincing, convincing victory. Convincing victory. A lot of work. Easy, easy victory, so. but at least they, McLeod, sort of stood up much better than the last few weeks. Well, they did okay. Uh, well, different personnel. It's uh, first. Uh, first major first assignment coming up against the. Uh, a, a, a red hot team. Runners, runners, up, runners up. Runners up. Runners up. Runners up. Sitting second on the Legia ladder is FC Essendon. McLeod, bottom of, bottom of the table, last with zero points. They've got a big. There's 15 games to go. 
Collector. If they can uh, get out of the relegation zone, which is the bottom four teams, uh, they might do okay. But uh, that's going to be a battle. We've got one battle at the top of the ladder with uh, the top eight trying to make it to the FOS Cup. Uh, and then we've got another battle. With the the relegation teams battle. Fighting out for relegation. Surviving the Legia Premier League. Uh, Golden Voice, just a recap. TV, if I was a betting man, uh, I think uh, Ling Zong and his troops uh, will get the uh, the praise at the opposite end of the championship. The spoon. So you think the wooden spoon, the big wooden spoon. Is well, currently, Melbourne Uni. Cu- well, Mel- Melbourne Uni are currently sitting second last in Lennon spot, and McLeod FC are dead last. Now it's only, uh, it's only gold. seven seven goals of difference, minus seven goals of difference. That is, uh, your tip is Melbourne Uni with fifteen yes, games to uh, go. Because uh, you can see easy. McLeod uh, going to win some games. Well. It'll come good. Well, that's a long time to go. Uh, pretty early to start predicting what's going to happen I at think, uh, uh, round 22. I reckon uni would come good if they sort of cull their bench a bit. I think their bench is a bit too big. You think they're going through too many personnel? Too many, can't get too many players. Too many players. They, they need to have less on the bench and more time on the pitch well. for, le- for less players. Chuck that out. Next game. Albert Park FC versus Metropolitan FC. Who would have thought this game would have ended up in a 2-2 two, two draw? Two all, sharing the spoils. Uh, Albert Park uh, is 10th on the ladder, 10th on the Legia Premiership uh, V-League ladder. And uh, Metropolitan, uh, before this third, game, were second. second. And now they've uh, moved down to third. Yes. Uh, how did you point. see that game? Dropped a, cu- a crucial point, uh, Metropolitan, but uh, well done to Albert Park. He, uh, yep. He really did well to hold back uh, Mohamed Khalid, yes, yes, Omar Rashid well. and Sim Rahim, Rahim. the big lethal left Very good play. The goals came for Albert Park, one to Zoran Matic, uh, one to Daniel Lo, Lo Negro. Uh, yellow cards uh, from Demir, well, were picked up from Demir and uh, from Goran, uh, two yellow cards in that team, uh, for that team in that game. And uh, Metropolitan FC, uh, Musia Law with the, the first goal. And uh, Johnny Tran coming up with another guy. Actually, it was the other way around. Johnny Tran kicked first, and we'll see and a little keeper to close. got a goal on the buzzer, which could have won in the game. Well, yeah, the buzzer did go off, and that was uh, so close. Was a so close game. Close. They could have won the game at the death, and if they had a couple of seconds left on the clock, they might have won the game. But uh, two yellow cards picked up from Metropolitan. Uh, Johnny Tran gets a yellow card, and Mohamed Khalid for diving. So, um, look, Metropolitan still look good up there. Only. Uh, uh, they uh, nicely, Chief. Four points away from uh, FC Paran, who are currently the leaders. <laughs> but Albert Park have got a lot of work. They're on four points, just above um, Melbourne Union on zero and McLeod FC. So um, we've got to watch this space carefully. I think Albert Park have to lift their socks up and uh, yes, try yes, and get into the top eight to avoid a relegation battle. Chiefy, I thought uh, Metropolitan would win this uh, comfortably, actually. So I was a bit shocked that it was only two all. Actually, is that the Metropolitan keeper? Hello. Gilbert Wong back to Tommy Wan. Forward. Looking for Morris. Lovely touch to Duke Duva for Morris. And Duke! The Duke star! Duke Duva with a beauty! Rifles into the top corner! And gets Melbourne Uni second.